it's Lynn with a little for nursery. I'm here with Reborn Baby Savvy. She is the May Land Sculpt by Ping Lao and her artist is Julia Homa. This little girl is so adorable. I love this baby. She was a custom order. Um, I had admired Julia's work and had messaged her on Facebook and she's now done um, a couple of custom orders for me actually. I mean, one, um, one of the babies I had, um, you know, is, uh, I actually sold to, um, Annie of, um, Annie Bonanni's Nursery, but, um, yeah, I, but I still have Savvy, and I also have my Tink, um, by Bonnie Brown that I bought from her as well, so Tink was my other custom order. Um, anyway, I wanted to go ahead and change her into this sleeper. This is a, um, Janie and the Jack zero to three month size um, I don't know whether to call these things rompers or sleepers. It's like a footless sleeper, basically. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in her. She's got this really lovely peaches and cream um, skin tone. And I think this um, mint green would look really flattering on her. So I'm going to go ahead and change her. And um, I know my last video that I filmed um, was actually before the um, election um before election day and I knew it would get published after um, everything so um, I now am going to film another video kind of just reacting to this um, week's events um, it's you know and again I you know not to get like overly political on my channel or anything like that but um, you know I just uh, I'm still kind of in, <laughs> in in disbelief about the events of the whole week it's been so crazy um, and, you know, they, for those who have been following the news, um, it's very hard to miss the fact that, um, you know, there is a winner of the U.S. presidential election, and that is Joe Biden. So, um, you know, I, I will say, you know, for myself, um, I'm very, I'm very happy with the outcome. I did vote for Joe Biden, and um, I did not vote for Donald Trump in the 2016 election, and I know that um, given, you know, my feelings from the outcome of the 2016 election, um, I was, you know, heartbroken and disappointed. Um, and I'm sure there are people who um, voted for Donald Trump who feel that way now. And so I want to be sensitive to that for sure. Um, but, you know, I, I, I am personally very happy about the outcome. You know, I look, I'm, I'm not a staunch Democrat. Like I've, I would, I've always considered myself a moderate, um, or, or more of an independent for many years. Um, the last number of elections I have voted Democrat, but I have at, you know, in the past as well, sometimes voted Republican. So for me, it just really depends on the candidate. I don't think either of the two parties is perfect. Um, and you know, there are certainly certain things I like, certain things I don't like, but I think ultimately, though, for me, um, you know, and I know there are a lot of people who voted for Trump who don't necessarily care for Trump, but um, I, for me, just his character, his, um, just, I just don't see him as a good leader, like a good example of, of leadership, you know, in our country. Um, and frankly, I've been very embarrassed the past four years having him as our president. It's been just some of the things he's said and done. Um, have been pretty appalling. So I, I know that some of you guys will not agree with me on that and that's okay, you know, but I just, you know, it's very hard for me as a, um, you know, as a woman of color, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, in a minority for, you know, the president to say things like, you know, to blame, um, the virus on, you know, China and Chinese people and like that base and basically saying things that cause, um, cause division and anger and hate in the country and, and divisiveness. Okay. He's really, and I feel like, you know, Joe Biden's message is really around unity. And, you know, he has said, look, even if you didn't vote for me, you know, I'm here to unite the country. So I, I really respect that a lot. Um, and yeah, I just, I just wanted, and, you know, just hearing him speak, um, after being, name the president for me was such a moving, like hearing him and Kamala Harris speak, just to see a minority female be named the, the VP. And this is the first female ever to be the vice president of the United States. It's a pretty incredible moment. And um, it really brought tears to my eyes. And so hopefully, you know, even, you know, regardless of your political leaning, you can 
you know, appreciate just the historical, um, you know, moment. And hopefully this will lead to, um, you know, just more doors open down the road for us to finally have a female president, for us to have more female VPs down the road. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, it was a very, very nail biting week. Oh my goodness. Um, and by the way, here's Savvy. I, I'm so sorry. Like I, I have to do a video talking about the election because it was just such a consuming week, you know, for me and for so many of you guys, I'm sure. Um, one of my friends posted on Facebook, um, you know, okay, basically like after the, they announced the president, she said, okay, great. Now the end, you know, we just wrapped up the end of the like the least productive work week in American history. And I totally resonate with that. I actually had a lot of work last week and was super busy, but um, but my mind, my, my, my emotions were just super distracted, um, kept watching TV, kept following the vote count. And it was so dramatic. Um, you know, Tuesday night, it looked like, um, Trump was leading in like so many of the different States. Um, but the, the, but the situation was a lot of the Republicans chose to vote day of, and they counted those day of votes, uh, first. And then a lot of the mail-in ballots were then counted last, and those were heavily Democrats. So as the days ticked by, you saw Biden's numbers go up and the leads narrow. And then he overtook Trump in you know, Pennsylvania and Georgia, and um, he, he overtook him in Wisconsin and Michigan and won those two states, I think, on Wednesday. And um, But yeah, Tuesday night, it was looking kind of bleak because... Um, we didn't have that full context of the fact that those mail-in ballots still needed to be counted. And no, they are not illegal ballots. Um, they were, as long as they were postmarked by November 3rd, um, those are the rules. Um, they have until November 5th, you know, 5 p.m., I believe, to arrive, and they are counted as long as they were postmarked by November 3rd. So, um, so anyway, you know, I know right now Trump is trying to fight a legal battle and, you know, claim that the election was stolen from him. It's just not true. So, um, and it's just, for me, just another sign of, you know, his immaturity and not being a gracious loser. I mean, these are just things that you, as a, that as a parent, we try to teach our children. Like, hey, if you lose, like, be gracious, be a good sport, right? These are just sort of basic things we try to teach our kids when they're in elementary school. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be apologetic about, my opinions of, you know, of the president, um, you know, I, I think, you know, to me, it's just mind boggling, um, that he still has so much support. Like that's, that's really mind boggling to me, but look, we, everyone has their reasons for voting how they voted. And, um, but you know, I have my own reasons for voting how I voted. So I just, um, yeah, I just had to make a video because this, you know, the elections, they come around only once every four years. Um, I think I'd shared on a prior video um, that I was a big Andrew Yang supporter and was very disappointed when, you know, he had to drop out of the primary. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think he's great. And, you know, he would have been my my top pick <laughs> for president. But um, alas, you know, I, I know he didn't uh, he didn't make it. But I, I am very, very happy for this outcome. And again, not because I'm like so overly excited about Joe Biden. I've always I've always been, I'd say more neutral towards Joe Biden, but, but I certainly respect him. And I think he's a, a, a decent human being. I think he cares about, um, he, you know, I think he is, um, a much more, you know, mindful of how to best approach the pandemic and really to encourage mask wearing. You know, the fact that Trump has not encouraged mask wearing throughout this pandemic is the reason for all these deaths. You know, there are over 200,000 deaths and there are going to be more. We're going into the winter season. So it's just really, really sad. And um, yeah, I just, I just have to talk about it a little bit. Guys, like I, you know, look, I, I know I don't usually make videos talking politics, but you know, we just had a very momentous day in the history of this nation. And, and I've never seen anything like this where it's like five days of vote counting. It was just, it was excruciating, honestly. It was like watching paint dry towards the end. And we were just like, come on, just like declare the winner already. And and even when it was looking good for those last like two or three days, I still was holding my breath. I felt like I wasn't sleeping well. You know, I was just holding my breath, <laughs> hoping for the best. And 
just, you know, wanting to have a more hopeful future, wanting to have a, a, a nation that's unified, wanting to have a president who's not racist. You know, I don't, I, I think that's not too much to ask. Um, anyway, so, um, but yeah, but, but to say all this, like, I'm not like, I, I would consider myself more of an independent, generally speaking. Um, but, you know, but lately, you know, in the last, like, I guess, you know, decade plus, I did vote for Obama, um, both elections as well. But, you know, prior to that, I think I did vote for George W. Bush. Um, I, you know, I, I have definitely, I have voted Republican at times in the past. So, um, yeah, I might have, and I might have voted for Republican when Clinton ran, you know what I mean? So I, I have not always voted Democrat. Like I have voted for either, depending on the candidate, depending on their platforms. And, you know, for me, the character of the president is extremely important. And I just could not, like, I, I would have just been sick to my stomach to have to stomach another four years of Trump in office. So, so we'll see what happens the next couple months. Um, I really do hope he, you know, kind of just comes to his senses and graciously concedes the election, like all the other presidents have done before him, um, who have not won. And just to be a gracious loser, um, yeah. And, and, and yes, it was very close, you know, so he can be proud of that, I suppose. But, you know, I, I just think this whole, you know, I, I think his behavior is just really childish. So I, I, I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, it's been like, this election has just consumed my energy like day in, day out. But yeah, I do hope, um, going forward for peace and I, and, and my heart does go out to everyone who might be feeling disappointed by the results. I, I get it. Like I went through this four years ago as well. I had my heart set on Hillary winning. I had, um, you know, I had donated a lot to her campaign. I had like the t-shirt, like I, I was really excited about her candidacy and I thought she was very qualified. I still think she's very qualified. So it was heartbreaking when she didn't win. Um, and so I know what, you know, I think a lot of us, you know, we, we just all went through this four years ago. So I, I do want to just be, so I, you know, anyway, I, I'm sure those of you guys who voted for Trump, you know, completely disagree with me and that's okay. You know, we, this is the beauty of our country. We can all have different opinions and hopefully we can all still be friends too. I think that's the part that is hard just given how divisive the country has been. Um, and it's so polarizing, um, seeing, seeing the country be so divided. So, um, look, I have some friends who are Trump supporters and yeah, we just, we, we just don't agree. And, you know, um, and, and that's okay, you know? So, but, um, but for me and for many others, um, it was, it was a hopeful day. It was, a, it was a happy day and, and hopefully we can all, move forward together and move forward in unity. So that's, that's my true hope. Um, yeah. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> I just had to share all that. Um, it's just been so much on my mind and just so much time the last week to really think about this election and ponder it and, um, commiserate with coworkers and, um, and friends and my family. I mean, I think we've all been just so consumed by it the past week. So um, anyway, be kind to yourself. Try to get some rest. Um, we're going into a new week. I can't believe the holidays are right around the corner. Um, we have Thanksgiving in a couple weeks. Um, Christmas right around the corner. As you guys can see, I am wearing my Christmas pajamas already. <laughs> so um, these are from Disney Store and um, it just makes me happy. My sister's already bought her tree and her tree is up. And I'm kind of very tempted to like do the same. I'm like, wow, you know what? Like, I feel like we just all need like an extra long Christmas season this year. That just sounds great to me. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And Savvy's going to say bye to y'all. Before I let her go, I just want to pick her up really quickly. I want to show you her, um, first of all, how cute she is. And her beautiful hair, like I think Julia did an amazing job rooting her hair. So I just, yeah, just wanted to share her with you and, um, oh, she's, she's so sweet. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.